Hi everyone, it's your girl Shar, your travel expert. How are you? I know it's been a minute. If you're new to my channel, I'm your travel expert. Please, you know, like this video. If you like the video, hit subscribe, um, you know, and leave me comments and let me know and tell me what you think about the video. Um, so let's get into it. It's been a while. I have been on a road trip. Um, I've been up and down Highway 95 here on the East Coast for for a while. It's, it's been a minute. Um, I started the road trip out in Florida. I went from Florida to Virginia to New Jersey and then I got tired. I was supposed to go to New York but that just didn't happen. Sorry. I, I could do it. I was tired. I did go to Philadelphia though um, to an art show. The road trip was great. Um, there's some lesson learned and things that I learned about the road trip and I want to, um, you know, convey them to you guys, um, as we sit here and talk about this today. First thing first, I do have my notes, so we're going to be looking at that. Packing. So, you guys know I travel always with my Wayfounder 30 liter, um, backpack. It's something that I travel with. I travel with it very often. I like the backpack a lot. Um, I I enjoy it a lot and I did a review um, you can watch the review um, on my channel and it shows you about the different functionality of it and everything like that I did take that um, I when I came back I did purchase the Wayfinder Com global companion 40 liter so I'm test driving that out um, up and down the highway and see how I like that so I'll be giving you guys a review on that but the one thing I do want to give you guys a review on that I don't think I ever talked about was um, another carry-on that I have. I have a um, Delcy, uh, I think it's called the Delcy Luggage Chatelet. I know it sounds so fancy. Um, it's a very cute bag. It's this right here. If I can bring it back. Is this. It's 21 inches. It's a carry-on as well. It's something that I use all the time. I do use as part of my carry-on. So I have the backpack and I have this. So I'm going to go through this for a little bit. Um, you know what? Let me take the camera back a little bit because you guys can't see. So we're going to move the camera back so you can get a full view of all that's happening around these parts. <sighs> We're in my office. I apologize if it's a little messy. Um, but here's the bag. Um, it's 21 inches long. It is a like a soft hard shell. Um, they call it a hard shell, but it's kind of soft to me, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. I wanted to give you guys a good overview of this. I'm standing up here in my office trying to show you, you know, the back. Um, so basically, it's part of you know when you travel, you're going around. I have different bags. As you know, I like the um, backpack, the Wayfinder, the um, the 30 liter one. I did purchase the the Eagle Creek 40 liter Global Companion backpack. I'm testing that out right now, and I give you guys a view on that and see how I like it, or you know what my review is on that. Um, but for right now, I wanted to talk about this as part of my carry-on. I did just recently go on a road trip. So this is the, um, with the backpack that I had, the Wayfinder 30 liter. I have the review on that. You can check out the review on my channel. But this is the, the Delce, um, Chatelet, um, the champagne color. It's 21 inches. So a couple of things about the features of this bag that I like. It has a handle not only at the top, but it has one here at the side. It also has a lock, so you can lock it. Um, it has two zippers, so it zips all the way around. So they're both here. I was just traveling with this. Sorry, it is a little dirty because I do use it a lot. Um, one of the other things about this bag is that it does have a handle here. It goes all the way up. If I'm gonna put this on the floor. So you can see that the handle come all the way up to about right here. Um, so it accommodates for different sizes. You can also adjust it. So you can adjust it to here. There's one more, you can adjust it to here. 
you can adjust it I can, one more here you can adjust it to here so it has different weights and different sizes um for the bag also with the bag um it's it's really um this is a really nice bag i've used it i took it to russia with me um it you can pack things in here for 14 days i've done it um so it will have everything that you need in it so i'm gonna unzip it and show you what it looks like on the inside oh i almost forgot one of the great thing about this bag you know when you're traveling and you know how you're at the airport or you're somewhere and then you let go of your luggage and it kind of like rolls downhill this actually has a go and stop so it goes here or stops there it's very helpful if you're like on one of those trains and you have to transport from one terminal to another at the airport so it stays still and it locks the bag so you have go and then you have this one over here so that's one of the great features about this bag. It does have wheel locks. So it locks the wheels. All right, so let's get it. Let's look at the inside of this bag. So the inside of this bag is actually pretty nice. Um, it actually has two compartments. Um, so the first compartment, the first compartment is here at the top. As you can see, it has um, an opening section here. It also has um, it also has straps, so you can strap your stuff in. I do apologize. I just came back from a road trip, so it is a little dirty. <laughs> um, it has like stuff in it. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I do like about this, it does have like these straps, so you can put these straps in. You can put your clothes in. You can strap your stuff up. Keep it from moving around. Um, I usually use a lot of those. Uh, I use a, they're like the Eagle Creek sacks that I use the compression bags that whole traveling system to keep all my stuff together. So I usually use that and I usually strap it in. One of the other nice things about this is if you flip it to the other side, like the top part of it, it does have a mesh up here. So you can zip, unzip this. And there's like there's it comes with a hanger which is really nice and it also comes with another bag which is really nice as well this is for my flat iron <laughs> um, so so it has a nice mesh bag also this unzips which is nice so it's kind of like a hidden compartment so you have two so you can put clothes and things on this side as well so you can um, and it also has the straps so you can strap it all in and that's why you have two different compartments and if this one's kind of like a hidden compartment that you can put like a little bit more stuff into and that's why you're able to get that's why you're able to get um two weeks worth of clothes in here um in this one bag um you're able to do that because you do have those two separate compartments it does zips all the way around and it has two zippers so you can lock it so you can put it in here if you can see this you can come on up so I'm gonna put the bags in here and lock it so you kind of like turn them flat and they lock so you kind of turn them flat and they lock in here and then you put the code in and then it unlocks so right now it's locked and then I just put my coat in and then it, oh, I lock. I do that right quick. I can show you. So I put the coat in. I put the coat in. It unlocks. And then you can unlock it back. But it locks. It just put it in here. Here. And it flats and it locks the bag. So you have a locked bag while you're traveling. Especially if you put it in the overhead compartment or something like that. So this is the Delce. It is the Delce Chatelette. It's 21 inches. It has full wheels. It has wheels that locks. And um, it's also a carry-on. So you can put it in your overhead compartment. So that is that. Oh, let's talk a little bit more about my trip. Oh, so that's packaging. Um... The other thing was food. 
Um, whenever you go on a road trip, make sure you have a bunch of food, a bunch of snacks, things to keep you entertained. Um, I, we did travel a lot. It was a lot of hours and a lot of miles, so we did have a lot of um, snacks. We did go between healthy snacks, like I had um, beef jerky. I like those. Um, also, I had those um, ch um, Chinese like rice crackers. I like those as well. And we also went between that and M and M's and Twizzlers and you know, you know the favorite, you know the the good stuff. The other thing I would say, and this is like my top three things, is is packaging food. I mean, packing food and music. Make sure you know what music selection, especially when you go on long trips. Whether you have Pandora, whether you have Amazon Music, um, whether you have Google Play or something like that. Make sure you put your playlist together. Oh, I have something hair like everywhere. I know it's a lot of hair. <laughs> I have a lot of hair. Um, but yeah, so make sure you have your playlist together. So those are like my top three things for road trip. I wanted to kind of do an overview of this luggage set because it's something that I haven't done in a while. Um, as far as like what I'm using, what I'm carrying, things like that. Um, because I just did the um, 30 liter Wayfinder backpack. That's what I carry to work. That's what I carry around with me everywhere. I did carry with me on the road trip with this. So I had the backpack and I had this. I also, um, if I didn't say this, I am going to do a review. I did purchase because I purchased the 40 liter companion, the global companion backpack. I'm test driving it out right now. I'll give you a review on that later um oh for those that don't know i do run a travel agency that's probably why i've been so busy um oh i wanted to say this i am partnering with two of my friends that are in the travel aging travel agency world travel agent world um we met a few months ago uh, we're putting together a couple they they put together a couple of trips i'm coming in at the tail end um but you know what we're we're and thanks to angie i want to shout her out so angie she runs um what is it um flying angels and also brindle kyle so she has a travel agency as well and myself we're angie dubbed us the queen of travel hashtag queens and so um, we're getting to, we're partnering together. There's gonna be two trips that I'm gonna be advertising. Um, one to um, Dubai. Um, it's called the Takeover. The Takeover D Dubai Takeover. Woo! Um, so that is gonna be like more towards the end of October, November, and then they're doing a spring break cruise that I'm partnering with them on, and that's gonna be like towards the end of March, beginning of April. Um, so those are two trips that, you know, we're working together to advertise and put together as a group. So you want to come hang out with us women, um, you know, the queens in travel. Um, come and join one of, our, one of the groups. Um, we'll be going to Dubai and so we're going to be on the spring break cruise. I'll be there with my camera equipment, um, how to be FaceTiming. Um, doing some instagram stories and things like that on the trip and having a good time um only the good stuff because you know me um and then check us out but i want to thank everybody for listening um i put all you know what i put the link to this they actually sell this on amazon it comes on a dark brown by the way um i put this on amazon um the link for that i will also um I will also put down the three things that I think is required for a road trip, and that is definitely what you're packing, um, food and music. And I, I also want to say, when you're packing, especially when you're on a road trip, just be careful to not overdo it. <laughs> um, I had to take some, I, I had to, you know, pull some things in because I was with another, my sister, my sister and I went together, just making sure that we didn't have a truck full of stuff. <laughs> so that's about it well thank you guys so much for listening and hanging out with charletta your travel expert i am the owner of lux travel llc
Thank you.